What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. I hope you're all doing great out there. So if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on, my friends. That's right. Just turn on that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. It's free. Remember that. And uh, set it to all so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's jump on into this. So shout out to my man, Scott. All right. Not Scott Calvin from the Santa Claus. Remember, I say name. You say Scott Calvin. All right. Everybody comment Scott Calvin right now. Did you comment Scott Calvin? No, you didn't. Go watch the Santa Claus. It's a great movie. All right, so Dashers, getting $130. You may have already heard of this. I'm a little late to the party, but better late than never. Um, so, you guys ready for this one? It's from the Gizmodo, and Scott sent this over, like I said. This is that DoorDash settlement that uh, we were you know, hearing about. And DoorDash settlement, settlement would pay a paltry $130 to workers instead of making them employees. Yippee. DoorDash is clearing a suite of class action lawsuits from Massachusetts and California off its plate, just as it marches ahead with extended battles in those states against employee classification. The company's proposed settlement for claimants in 11 cases results in a predictability lousy payout for workers who have been fighting for years for employee classification and a minimum wage. Of the $100 million settlement fund, $28 million has been allocated for lawyers and an estimated $130 for each dasher who makes a claim. Yippee. Big money. $130 is a complete joke. A spokesperson for the labor rights campaign, Gig Workers Rising, told Gizmodo. DoorDash CEO Tony Hsu took home $413 million last year for himself. Uh, they can afford to pay workers way, way more. Last year, Hsu received one of the largest CEO compensation packages of all time. Meanwhile, DoorDash has earmarked approximately $61 million of its settlement for Dashers. DoorDash will allocate $10,000 each to named plaintiffs who filed the suits. None of the lawyers contacted in those cases have responded to Gizmodo's request to confirm that the settlement on the site is authentic and it doesn't yet appear uh, on something got cut off. Uh, that's some scandalously, scandalously short of the request Dashers had initially made. Uh, the settlement lumps together two ongoing suits and eight pending ones under a 2017 case, Marco versus DoorDash Incorporated, in which three Dashers asked that the court force the company to give Dashers employee status to which they are entitled under California's labor, uh, labor code. They claimed that they were owed work expenses, overtime pay, and minimum wage, among other forms of compensation. DoorDash promises that as a result of the settlement, it'll start giving drivers in California and Massachusetts the entirety of their tips without DoorDash deducting them from their pay. But the company are al already supposedly resolved that issue in 2019 and reached a separate $2.5 million settlement with aggrieved da drivers last year. Uh, let's see now. Uh, DoorDash's decision to settle this bundle of suits is interestingly timed in the scheme of its joint campaign with Uber and Lyft to permanently shield itself from classifying workers as employees. Doing so would force it to pay minimum wage, unemployment insurance, and potentially reckon with unions. Last year, California passed a law that would do just that, but rather than follow the law, DoorDash, Uber, and Lyft led the charge to overturn the hard-fought policy with their own ballot measure, Prop 22. The companies wrote in provisions, making it incredibly difficult for lawmakers to repeal, and they spent over $200 million to deceive the public into believing that it was a workers' rights measure. A Los Angeles Superior Court judge found that the ballot measure stated purpose was an outright lie, writing that its actual MO, squashing collective bargaining, minimum wage requirements, and safety provisions, served only to protect the economic interests of the network companies is having a divided, unionized workforce. 
The companies have said they plan to appeal the ruling, and DoorDash said in a defiant statement that Prop 22 remains in full effect. Um, so yes. Anyway, guys, here's here's the deal with this. $130 is an absolute joke. <laughs> I'm not going to lie there. I'm, I'm going to have to agree with that 100% wholeheartedly. It is completely a joke. And at the end of the day, you know, for all the stuff that dashers have to deal with, I'm sure Tony Shu could have done way better than that. So here's my question to all the dashers out there in the chat or the comments down below. How much do you think dashers who claimed part of this uh, lawsuit, how much do you think drivers, dashers should get back? Let me know in the chat or the comments. Do you feel $130 is adequate or it should be much more? Let me know down below what you guys have to say. And of course, if you ever want to send me anything, send me an email at pay to drive stories at gmail. Dot com. That's the best place to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you can actually message me through Patreon at patreon.com slash pay to drive. There's a link in the description or in the pin top comment if you'd like to send me an email or a message through there. And anyone who sends me a message, um, you know, you're going to get shout outs over here when you sign up uh, in every video. So I'm going to do that right now. Whenever, uh, Whenever you guys hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver, incredibly generous person. And of course, we also have the other generous patrons like Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, uh, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. Really, really appreciate it. And with that being said, everybody, uh, please make sure you are all signed up on Get Upside. It's a free gas app for your smartphone. That's right. Link is in the bottom of the description down below of all my videos. Please make sure you download it today if you haven't yet. I know you've been procrastinating and thinking about it, but tons and tons of people I've helped with this. Hundreds, if not thousands, have been signing up. And it's fantastic. All you, This is all you have to do. Download it with the link down below. It's free on your smartphone, like I said. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Please make sure to download it today. Seriously, everybody. And of course, if you guys want one of these awesome PTD Mod Squad t-shirts, you can get one at paytodrivestore.com. That's great. That, that's great. That's great. That's great, everyone. Yeah, there you go. Paytodrivestore.com. Go check it out. Uh, lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it. Uh, get your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. Links down below in the description of the pin top comment. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment saying end 555 E N D 555. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified every time I post something new. And of course, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one.